Bono State is blessed with the highly intelligent and hardworking people in every sphere of human endeavor. One of such brilliant sons of Borno is Engineer Mohammed Kari Abadam, popularly known as MK. From our local government in the northern part of the state, Mohammed Kari is a successful engineer who distinguished himself among his equals by establishing a multi phase engineering company, Cumix Nigeria Limited, which is currently carrying out different construction works in the country. In Borno State, Cumix Nigeria Limited, under engineer Mohammed Kari Abadam, was engaged by Borno State government under the leadership of Professor Babagana Marazun for a number of projects in his transformation drive. Notable among them are Chibok, the Buambalala Road, which has reached 80% completion, and the construction of 1.96 single lane road and drainage, as well as street light in Bolori area of the metropolis, which is now completed and was commissioned by President Muhammad Fahri GCFR. Uh, I would like to thank Almighty Allah for giving us this opportunity to participate in this kind of project, especially you know, in our own community. I think this is uh, wonderful. Yeah, it's seriously pain and it's seriously satisfying to see that uh, one will be in a position to make some impact in his community, especially immediate community. I think this is very wonderful. I feel so elated, I feel so happy to actually get this project completed 100%. And not only to complete the project, but to the required quality and standard, and within the stipulated period of time. Commenting on the quality of just concluded road and drainage, engineer MK said, with a combination of high quality machines and skilled personnel, the quality required was achieved. And applauded Governor Zulum for engaging indigenous companies in his transformation drives, which also served as means of creating jobs for the team in youth in the state. Kimius Nigeria Limited is, a, like I always used to say, is a multi engineering construction company which has a vice in civil engineering activities. Whenever we carry out projects, we do our own feasibility studies. Immediately after the feasibility study, we make our own you know, program of works. The program of works will entail how long the project is going to take, and at the same time, it will also give you an idea about uh, the material and level schedules. So when we look at the level schedules, then we are now going to employ the best hands we have. Because when you have a project and you have the required equipment and required personnel, then I think uh, the rest is going to be a history. Definitely, we are going to achieve your desired result with these two combinations in addition to financing because finance is the bottom the bottom line of all aspects because without finances whether we have the best hands the best material you know be able to complete the project you know to satisfactory requirement so generally we employ best hands based on the requirements we look at the requirements and then and the beauty of the whole thing is that we have local, local content I think that's also what is really you know, satisfying. We have local content because if you look at the 90 percent of our man, for almost 95 percent, the indigenous born state. Mm. So it's not only to complete, but we also train them mm. so that at least they will be they are being trained, you know, to face bigger challenges for future. Yeah. Engineer Mohammed Kari said, Cumex Nigeria Limited, being a multi phase engineering company, began with Bohol railing years back before venturing into civil engineering projects. Chemex Nigeria Limited now has the capacity to deliver any type of construction work with required quality and standard, considering its track records, coupled with the technical know-how and bunch of experts, which earn them more recognition in the country. Currently, he said, the company is working in different states for different construction works 
such as roads, drainage and bridges among others. Um, we work in many places. We've been working since uh, the year 2000 for almost you know, 23 years uh, of experience in the industry. We first and foremost started as uh, bowl dealers. We were drilling boards in Medjugorje, some across the country, you know, reticulation, water resources engineering, etc. But later we moved our force into, you know, civil engineering activities. We work in Jigao State immensely, we work in Kano State, uh, we work in River State. We constructed uh, 560 meter long a bridge on Bolo Creek, it was a creek, so we did a uh, on-river run, so 516 in River State. And Kimo Nigeria Limited also did 3.65 kilometer of dualization, six-lane dualization in Uyo, uh, Marine Road 2 in Uyo, so we also work in Oweri. Uh, right now we're working uh, in Bochi, we were the one working on the dualization of a uh, 4.6 kilometer road from uh, Sibian roundabout to railway station roundabout in Bochi. So we've been, we've been working in many places actually, alhamdulillah. On his personal assessment of Governor Babagana Omar Zulum's administration in the last three and a half years, Engineer Mohammed Kari said, Zulum is a blessing to pronounce that suffered over a decade-long insurgency, pointing out that the governor has done excellently well in meeting the yearning and aspiration of his people. In the last three and a half years, Governor Zulum executed many developmental projects that cut across all sectors, which made him a household name in the country. Without any fear or favor, we have, we have worked in many places in Nigeria across the country. We've been, you know, uh, been working in many places. We are projects across the country, but without any fear, we, we can just, you know, immediately, you know, uh, be done chat and chat and say that, you know, Governor Zulum, to my own assessment, is the best governor in terms of uh, infrastructures. The best governor, I'm telling you, in terms of infrastructure, even the approach. Because for one reason, you know, he's an engineer, so he knows his A, B, C, D, he knows his arithmetic, he knows when and, you know, how to get things, you know, done, how to, to get things, you know, completed within time. Number one, he doesn't have fear of uh, spending money on infrastructure because he has seen the advantages of doing that. So his approach is uh, very perfect. To me, he's the best person, the best governor we've ever seen in our life, the best person you know, in terms of his approach, in terms of, uh, you know, selecting even the priority. You know, there are certain projects that will not even have impact on the life of the people. So without all this, he just look at the requirement first and foremost, without even looking at the people, what are the requirements, how do, you know, the project benefit his people. I think that's one thing he always look at that. Because if you look at uh, the issue of Bolori, I believe he cited this in, and I believe he did that because of the people of Bolori. Not only people of Bolori, but he has seen the future because this Bolori work that we've just completed about two kilometers roughly about two kilometers if you look at the expansion of the road it has linked up it's going to reduce the pressure on Baga Road people who are now going to uh, be passing through federal locals instead for them to now fast through Ibrantayo so they can now you know manipulate their way and they bypass through this road so that they can reach up to the Malakachala Clinic, those, those who are going to federal locals, Pompomari and so on and so forth. So you've seen that he has reduced the pressure on this road, so that all this holds up, you know, the, the rush hour holds up, you know, in the evening around that is going to be automatically reduced. So, you know, this is one of the actually, you know, advantages. So his approach is not only an approach for the community, but he looks at the future. How does the, all of this, you know, affect the future? So I think it's very perfect. Engineer Mohamed Kari added that engineers bleed in quality and Governor Zulum, being an engineer, knows what is best and always imputes engineering techniques in his administration. Kari also stressed that Governor Zulum is a very transparent and credible leader who surprised many within and outside the country on how he was able to achieve a lot without external loan. The approach of the state government is very, very exemplary because uh, even people from other states, I call upon you know people from other region you know, to come and emulate what is happening in Borno State. What is really maybe you you may not know, but I'm now going to say it very clearly today. 
that all these infrastructure costs that is being you know spend, spend in bonus if you look at it one would wonder why is this governor you know getting his money to spend on this money and there's no any external loan from any world bank anywhere now you know if, if you go to other states i'm telling you they'll charge a three four five billion era just for two kilometers with street lights and drainage and everything but right now this project is you know it's not even up to you know one third of that amount that i'm talking to you because it's very cost effective because they look at the price, they look at harmonization, and say that, look, we'll give you this price. And then with this price, you'll be able to achieve, you'll be able to, to, to now, you know, gain some profit, and then we'll be able to execute it, okay, to, to standard. So because of this uh, establishment of the BPPP, prices are being regulated properly. And because of this, he has a lot of money to spend on project. All the project in Borno, if you look at it, and tally it and compare it to other states, honestly speaking, because have even been reduced by only you know, 50 percent okay the example of this flyover the place is 20 30 billion but with the dualization and the flyover they spend maybe you know less than 10 billion era so it's someone very credible very transparent so the bpp will give you some level of transparency so all the leakages you know in awarding contracts all the leakages in terms of rights in terms of uh, even the construction process are all blocked by the BPP. So I think this is something very, very commendable. Maybe this is what people don't know. Maybe people might not realize that he's not getting money from anywhere, no any external loan, and he's still driving, you know, the, the, the industry. So how is he driving that? Why is he going to get the money? So it's all through the same policies, but now he's trying to reduce the cost. All the leakages are being blocked. The Bolori community stakeholders are highly delighted with the road and drainage constructed by Governor Zulum's administration to east untold hardship paced by the people of the area for a very long time and call on all and sundry to go out and vote for Governor Zulum's continuity. Baba Nda Lama Chese Ugo Diya Dashi Propeso Baba Gana Umar Zulum Gomna Yai Abu Nda Babu Wande Yee Kamanashi Daga Baya Anyi Ankwatanta Amma Nashi Yai Piko Wande Sabi Da Na Parko Kualitin Aiki Nda Aiki Yee ni duk cikin metropolitan nake wa banga company irin wannan kamfanin ba banga kuma kamfanin da suka aiki tsakani da Allah irin na wannan ba ko ya zo bolori ko bai zo ba mu idan sa ne kuma mu shede shi ne project din yana da kyau aikin na da kyau ma'aikata ne wanda suke aiki tun daga safe wani lokaci har karfe biyun dare da muke shine da in muka ga hajiri muna wani waje muna fargaban zuwa gida saboda muna wajen nan ruwa zai cika titi idan mun zo mota da kira za ta shigo ta zo ta shiga gida mutanen gida suna fargaba cikin dakin su ruwa na shiga tsakar gida za a ga ruwa ya cika amma a yanzu alaman wannan aikin ya nuna cewa ko muna Lagos ko muna Kaduna ko muna Yobe in muka ga hadiri za mu ce alhamdulillah an we are safe musamman mu Bolori muka ce muna son kwalta muna son bohol muna son street lights muna son lambo 2 da muka rubu muna gaya mishi muka rubuta muka ba shi takarda a rubuce gashi atake a gabana ya cewa commissioner na works kai takin charge na wannan commissioner na ruwa kai takin charge batun wannan commissioner na wuta kai takin tai wannan issue na batun wuta so alhamdulillah abin da ya fadi ba a bolori kadai ba wod 15 din nan ina tabbatar maka yau in ka sa gaban ka a kowace anguwa zaka ga project na zulum daga lokacin da ya fada zuwa yanzu ka jindar na kozna da ji kun gurin da yar nduwa nduwa na so kar ka jiro a gwamnaro gwamna ba na umar zan mugulte ma na inde ka la la yar shi ma la inde kurawo da yi la yar dutlus mota ba mashin na aula ko zale zan ne kuru da ji da nungri suna halan nji ya zaura laidin fata an goro gana do da yi kaman ne kamar yanzu ko gwamna ne shi Brahma lalle ya da suru an jero mu kolta lai njiya daji kuru hutu matin duro an jero sunan nan kadro daji an de shuru a gulli no ba o sai askara wannan abin da gwamna yayi mana mun ji dadin sa kuma manyan mu sun yi magana cewa wannan kwaltan da ake da lambatun da ake yi nan wallahi baka dan baburge wanda yayi mana daga bolori in ka bi bolori kamar ingila kake 
mu dai muna ganin haka su manya mu ma sun yi magana kuma mun ji dadin sa kuma mun sake yin dadin sa yaran mu da sofofin mu duka suna walwala kuma suna jin dadi ga ruwan da yake kwanciya gaba daya in ruwa ya damu na yayi gaba daya ruwan nan fita yake a waje shine dai muna jin dadin sa kuma mun ji dadin sa da kwaltan da yake yi wara ai ba ma magana ai maganan da ake kawai gadan da yayi mana na custom din nan ma ya faranta mana rai balle ma yayi bypass na wajen bolori da gwange da london ciki da modganari da wasu abubuwa ne da yake yanzu alhamdulillah abubuwa da yayi ba irgawa gaskiya dukkan mu mutanen bolori a madadin su gaba daya mukan yi godiya saboda an mana kokari an share mana hawayen mu akan lamarin ruwan sama muna godiya sosai wannan gwamnatin Allah ya albarkace ta to a farko gaskiya mu mutanen borno mun yi dace saboda ni ne zan ga ma mutane gabna halin gabna saboda na zo na aiki da shi tun yana commissioner har yanzu kuma tare da shi saboda shi gabna mutum ne mai zuciya mutum ne kuma idan yake zai abu tabbas yana yi duka da inji masu gani an gade a kasa a kasa dai mutumin borno dai ya ga kasa particularly irin mutanen da mun ka zo daga waje waje kaman goza an yi zamani kala kala zamani boko haram ya shiga mutane sun yi wahala bayan sun yi wahala yayi kokari ya tsaya yayi ruwa ya tsakiya mai da su gararin su kuma gaskiya mun ga abubuwan cin gaba kiyawa kamar yanzu ka zo an goma bolori ina nan mai dubu da cikin bolori an yi kwalta an yi makarantu Engineer Muhammad Kiari appreciated the people of Bolori for the maximum cooperation during the construction work without which the company wouldn't have succeeded and urged them to come out and vote for Zulm on the election day this Saturday. Even last week, you know, precisely just a few days ago, about on Thursday, you know, precisely about three days ago, when Mr. President came, Mr. President was so happy. He even mentioned very clearly that we have no alternative to to govern as alone because of the numerous projects, you know, this this, this gentleman has really initiated and executed within this few period of time. So it's very wonderful. So I think I'm calling on the good people of Borno State, irrespective of. Uh, you know our political inclination forget about politics let's look at the person whether he has come out in APC or PDP or LP and whatever if today Google for Islam is going to vote for that I think there's no alternative so far you know to Governor Islam we should come out in mass you know to vote for this gentleman so that he cannot only going to consolidate on what he has actually done but he can also progress so that our people will have a good livelihood We've seen the achievement not only in terms of infrastructure, but in terms of uh, security. We've seen the achievement in terms of education and development, in terms of commerce, in terms of you know settling our people back to their to their you know, ancestral homes. I think we've seen all this contribution. So I think all this should not be in vain. So I feel that uh, not I feel I'm calling on good people of Borno State to come in mass to vote, you know, for this gentleman. So that at least it's for our own benefit. It's for our own benefit, honestly speaking. So I think we have a lot to lose. We have a lot to lose as people of Borno State if we've not voted him into power. It's not about him, but about our people actually. So I think we are looking at that. So we should come out in mass to, to vote for him. Governor. There is no alternative for now. Governor, Engineer Professor Babagana Omar Azulum is passionate about taking Borno to a greater high. Borno is known as home of peace and as citizens. It is behoves on us to render all the support required for the efforts of Governor Babagana Umarazulu to come to fruition to us make him born great again. <laughs> Kwa mwenambere na zilumbe ikazamawa 